Welcome back kids. Today we will talk about sounds. Sounds are all around us. People, animals, and things produce sounds. Sounds are used for communication. We get different kinds of information from different sounds. For example, when a baby cries, the baby may be hungry, frightened, uncomfortable or unwell. The siren of an ambulance warns other drivers on the road to give way. Knocking on the door means someone is asking for permission to come inside. Sounds are also used for expressions. We laugh and clap when we are happy. We slam a door when we are angry. During an argument, people tend to raise their voices to show their anger. But how are sounds produced? To find out, let's do a little activity. Press two fingers on your throat lightly and say something. Can you feel your throat vibrating? Sounds are produced by vibrations. That's why when you speak, you can feel your throat vibrating. Now put your fingers back and make a soft humming sound. Then make a loud sound. Can you feel the difference in vibrations? When you make a soft sound, the vibration is smaller. When you make a louder sound, the vibration is larger. This is because a loud sound carries more energy than a soft sound. Let's observe a tuning fork. A tuning fork serves as a useful illustration of how a vibrating object can produce sound. The fork consists of a handle and two tines. When the tuning fork is hit with a rubber hammer, the tines begin to vibrate. Do you see the numbers on the tuning forks? The number tells us the number of vibrations that the tuning fork makes every second they are hit. This tuning fork will vibrate 512 times every second when hit. The number of vibrations made in one second is known as the frequency of the sound. This brings us to the end of the video. If you have any queries you can write to us at thestudypod01 at gmail.com.